guys. I'm Bob. I'm Barb. Together we make up Edis World. It's KM Ride Day. Where are we riding today, Bob? We are in Montana and we're going to ride around Flathead Lake. So we're going to take you around all the small towns. It should be about a three or four hour journey. It's all about the ride today. So stay tuned. So it's a beautiful sunny day in Hot Springs, Montana. Yep. It's 80 degrees and pretty much we're staying at a campground that is a city campground. Nothing much to this campground. It was kind of in and out, um, maybe uh, 10 spots. I think probably eight of them were probably permanents. So we were just somebody that was in there for uh, the week or so. COVID was pretty rampant right then. So we just got on the motorcycle and rode. Yep. So today's drive is really just going around Flathead Lake. Yep. Flathead Lake was a beautiful lake. It's the largest natural freshwater lake west of the Mississippi. It's 200 square miles large and has 180 miles of shoreline. It does have 13 access sites. Like all the times you're on the Spider, it is just another gorgeous day. Beautiful skies, wind in your face. We always enjoy getting on the uh, Can-Am Spider and cruising, and this was a, just an absolutely beautiful ride we had. Yeah, Montana, called the Big Sky Country. It, it's not even good enough name for it. It's how beautiful it is. Yep. So welcome to Elmo, Montana. Woohoo! First stop on the route, they do have internet, which is better than where we are in Hot Springs, Montana. We'll show you a little bit more, and we're gonna move on to the next city. It's part of the Confederated Salish and Kunatini tribes in the Flathead Reservation. So now we're going to talk just a little bit about that. This was actually our first, what we call Indian town that we had come to, you know, owned by Indians, run by Indians, etc. Yeah, we, I mean, we found these towns to be pretty well blighted. You know, they were um, not not real clean places. Not nothing that you wanted to stop at. They looked like they were just. Yeah. living areas for people to live but they were uh, didn't have much to offer to us uh, RVers. Yeah. I mean there's just a lot of abandoned places in Montana. I don't know if people have just moved away or given up or if people have, have passed away and that's what's left of their buildings. I don't know. So let's talk a little bit about Lakeside, Montana. Yeah, Lakeside was right along the Flathead Lake and it was probably one of the bigger communities that we ran into. It had it all. It had real nice restaurants, had a really nice park, a nice marina, and we did get off the bike and stretch our legs and walk around. It's a sleepy community of 3,000 people. That's very quiet, but it's a huge vacation destination spot in the summer, so the town really blows up then. Yeah, it was fairly crowded when we were there. show you a little bit about what's around here. They have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful views in the lake here. We're going to be stopping at Big Fork to eat some lunch. So stay with us. Oh, and check out this, check out this fluttering beautiful tree. So we're going to go down here and just get on their little, I, I think it's kind of a gravel beach. We're just going to call this Hedis World's private dock. Ever since we left the Tetons, we've gotten in, we were in super windy area when we were in Du Bois, not super cold when we were staying there, cold in the Tetons, but then from there we went down to, to Idaho to see my cousin. 110 degrees in Idaho, super, super hot. <laughs> we were being where everybody else was in the country finally, but now we are here and it is warmer in Hot Springs. Yeah, we're a little lower elevation. Yep. So before we move on from this place, let me give you just one more beautiful look at the lake and those mountains over there. 
The next stop we made was at Big Fork, and it was a place where we stopped at a restaurant to eat and enjoyed the meal very much so. It is considered the fine arts district, the theater district, and one of the top small towns in America. Big Fork. Dustin, from Wayward Wags, we're in Big Fork. We're in Big Fork. You ain't in no Big Fork. Anytime we find some place that has a fun name, we're now gonna call it out Dustin. Because he's good at the fun names. So we're eating at Burger Town. It's a 45 minute wait, but we hear it's well worth it. So we're willing to do it. And they have great Wi-Fi in this town. So we'll take you, continue the tour around the lake after we're done eating. Definitely the place you want to stop to get cherries. They have Washington cherries right now. And it is July 10th. And in a couple days, they're going to be having some flathead cherries, which are very well known for the Montana area. She also has freeze-dried candy, something totally new and awesome that you need to come here and try. Our next stop was Polson, Montana, and they're known for their cherry trees. Who would have thunk that uh, cherry trees in Montana? It's known as one of the most fertile farming areas in the entire United States. No internet here if you're Verizon, totally without. We're going to take a look around the town, probably get some ice cream. The views that you see are incredible. The road goes on. The sky with the clouds slowly moving across it. It is incredibly beautiful and the smells are wonderful in Montana. So we hope that you like these kind of videos. We love them. Yep. This is what we love doing. We love RVing. We love going to wherever we need to go, which was Hot Springs, Montana this time. Parking the RV, getting on the bike and riding and seeing whatever we can see. And that's why we like taking you on these rides because yeah. we want to show you whether it is just a ride around the lake with a few stops or taking you to some crazy destination. Yeah. That's what we want to do. We want you guys to be with us. So first off, please like, uh, give us a thumbs up. It bumps us up in the analytics at YouTube if you guys do that. Yeah. Smash, smash it, smash it, smash it up that notification bell. Of course, uh, what else helps us is comments. Yeah, we love the comments. We love reading them and love responding to them. So yep. keep those comments a coming. And the biggest thing is we want you guys to subscribe. Yep. I mean that helps our numbers also. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're watching, just hit the subscribe button and maybe you'll uh, enjoy yeah. our content. And because um, it's, I mean, it's different from other people. We got the, yep. you know, with the RV, with the Can Am, getting out and enjoying the fresh air. Um, and you never know when Bob's going to be fixing something again. I don't even know when Bob's going to be fixing something yeah, sometimes again. Sometimes I like breaking things so I can fix things. <laughs> so remember, we're ahead of swirl. Come travel in our incredible world.